friends. Thank you so much for being here with me today for another read aloud. Today we are going to read a book called Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Can anyone tell me what does the author do? Great job. The author writes the book. Let's look at the cover. What do you think this book is going to be about? Let's make a prediction. What is this book going to be about? Mouse Paint. I think you're right. I think it might have something to do with paintings. I see lots of colors. So I wonder if the, if the mice will paint. Let's start reading this story and find out. Once there were three. Can you see everybody? Let me make sure everyone can see. Aha, there we go. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. One day while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. Let's count the jars. One, two, three. One red, one yellow, and one blue. They thought it was mouse paint. They climbed right in. What happened to the mice? They climbed in the paint and what happened? They turned a different color. Then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint on the paper. The puddles looked like fun. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. His red feet stirred the yellow puddle until, what color did it turn? Look, he cried. Red feet in a yellow puddle make what color? Orange. Good job. Red and yellow make orange. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until... What's happening? It's changing colors. What color do we think it'll be? Yellow and blue. Let's find out. Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. Great job. You guys know your colors. Then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until, what color do we think it's going to turn? Let's find out what color that paint makes. What color? Can you see? Purple, they shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. So they washed themselves down to a nice soft white. Can you guys see what they're washing the paint off in? They're in the cat's water bowl, those silly mice. So they washed themselves down to a nice soft white and painted the paper instead. They painted one part red and one part yellow and one part blue. They mixed red and yellow to paint an orange part. They mixed yellow and blue paint to get a green part and blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat, right? Can the cat see the mice when they have their soft white fur on the white paper? No, they blend in, right? So they left some white to hide from the cat. The end. All right, my friends, I hope you guys had so much fun reading this book. If you have some paints at home or even some crayons or colored pencils, you can try mixing some new colors just like in mouse paint. If you practice um, mixing colors, send me a picture. I'd love to see it. Have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.